Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing, and uh, I can't really do the review because I haven't used it yet. But because of uh, you know having powers, whoop, having um, problems with you know grids going down during power outages or whatever, you want to be able to power your phone and your tablet or whatever. I like it also so I can power my uh, my GoPro when I'm out or I can bring it camping. So I ended up getting a power bank and a solar panel combination. This is by Gold Zero. Now I bought one of these battery packs for Carmen either last year or the year before. And it's been holding up pretty well for her. It does hold a charge for a long time. And she gets a lot of charges on her phone with it. She just keeps it in her truck or in her car in case something happens. Um, so this one ended up being a combination power panel and solar panel. Or power bank and solar panel, so it was almost it was about 150. I think the the battery alone is uh, 80 bucks. So I wanted to have the solar just in case if you you lose power and uh, you don't have a generator or anything else you can charge it with. You can always just stick it out in the sun. I was looking into some of them. They took like up to 35 to 40 hours to charge, so that didn't make a whole lot of sense. This one says I believe it's six to ten hours. So if you could get it in a nice hot, a nice sunny spot, and you could just cut your time way down, and I figured, you know, six to eight hours wouldn't be bad at all. At least you could power up your things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I mean, I obviously did open it already, so unboxing just means that I'm showing it to you for the first time. I have to open up my gifts or my my packages when I get them and take a peek and uh, make sure I didn't make a mistake when I when I bought something. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and open it up, and then we're going to put it to use up in the, because uh, right now we got a nice sunny day here today. It's a great fall morning, nice and cool, or actually afternoon, it's nice and cool. And we'll get this thing going, and then I'll see how long it takes to charge, and then, uh, you know, finish up the battery, finish up the video with a review. It is a nice day today. All right, let's open it up. All right, so one thing I like about Goal Zero is their products are waterproof. I mean, you have to have the covers in place. So here's the battery. Here's the battery bank or the power bank. You have this little piece here that you open up and that has your USB ports and also the charging port. So when you're coming from solar to here, They did change the configuration and the style because the one I bought, Carmen, it's a little bigger and it's yellow and it had the ports on the two on the side, one on the top. But right out of the box on that one, we had to put some super glue on one of the one of the straps because it just came undone when trying to undo it. So this is the Venture 35 by Goal Zero. Comes with directions. In the power cord. So when I'm charging this, I can charge it from either solar or from you know house current. I'll just have it in there and plug it in. Here's a solar panel. I know a lot of them. They would come. They would be. Uh, you could kind of roll them up. This one is actually, it's, it's, it's like a book. It also has a really nice stand here. Fits into place nice. You can move it around to get the, to the sun. So if I was going to charge this from my solar panel, let's plug it in back. So it is the first time me using this, so I'm a little clumsy. And that's it. Then you'd have it angled to the sun. And 
and it also has these nice uh, at the ends so you could strap it onto your backpack you could, you could put it onto your car if you wanted to get if you want to get bold and that's it and so you could also charge your products right from this you can have it into the um, solar panel and you could have it just plugged into your you know GoPro or your batteries or whatever your chargers all right we're gonna go bring it to the sunshine all right so I got my power bank connected to it It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful blue sky today. So I'm just going to let it sit here for the day. I'll come out and just reposition it as the sun changes. And uh, right now, I think it's, I don't know. Let's see what time it is. Of course, there's always these trucks going by too. It's 12.10. All right, so with the limited amount of sun, and it's 10 after four, I'm gonna just bring this inside and gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a review on this. All right, so the sun is not out around my place for long duration, so I didn't even get a chance to bring it to the first blue light. So it has four different blue light indicator bulbs and each one is a quarter percent battery. I didn't even bring it up to that point, but I know I did start charging it because this also has a feature of a 50 lumen uh, flashlight. Press and hold your battery two seconds and you've got a flashlight. 50 lumen. This is the first time I've ever used solar power for anything. So I think it's a pretty cool concept and you can bring it wherever you need to go. You can hook up your, your phone or whatever you want to have charged right to the solar charger and just keep it out in the sun. Like I said, it has these little holes here that you can mount it on. You can put it on your backpack while you're hiking in the sun. You could, it could be charging up your, your implements. You could put it on the roof of the car as long as you had a long enough cord to hopefully bring your piece that you wanted to have charged inside the vehicle. So I purchased the Venture 35 and the Nomad 10 solar charger. This is my first time using anything with solar. It's pretty neat that I was able to kind of bring this thing to life just by using the sun. You can put it wherever you need to to charge your things. I was a little off on my on my charging times so I'm gonna just read you some specs from this thing okay so the one that I have the Nomad 10 charges in 6 to 12 hours they also have a Nomad 5 and a Nomad 20 but I don't have it this is the Venture 35 I can charge I can recharge the phone three times I can charge a tablet one time and I can do cameras six recharges which is nice because sometimes out in, the, out in the boonies you want to get your stuff on GoPro so if anyone has a GoPro I mean I have an old one I have the Hero 3 that thing chops through batteries like nothing and I have four batteries so I would be able to charge my batteries and keep on going and with things going on you never know when you're gonna lose power 
and you always want to be connected. You don't want to lose your phone. You want to be able to talk to people if anything's going on. So what I like about this is the portability. This is smaller than the original one that I got for Carmen. And this just folds up nice and thin. It weighs, uh, I think it was 1.1 pound or something. In a backpack, you may feel the heft, but obviously in your car, you're not going to. Um, it's a good item to have if you need to bug out. Hopefully the world doesn't come to the point where we need to bug out from our residences because you want to stay home as long as you can. Uh, that's it. My little review on the Goal Zero. I think it's nice. I haven't used it yet, obviously, because it's brand new. The flashlight, I think, is a good feature. Uh, 50 lumens is plenty light to get around. This one has two USB and one charge for input. When you need to charge it to your AC or to, from, the, um, from your solar panel. So that concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.